Hi everyone, welcome to part 3. And let's see what kind of distance and clearance reports the captain may ask you for when the ship approaches the berth. When a ship enters a harbor and passes a breakwater, the master may ask you to report when the bow and stern pass the breakwater. Thus, you would report, bridge forward passing the breakwater, or bridge aft clear of breakwater. When the ship passes the corner of the jetty, you may report, bridge forward, the bow is abeam the corner of the jetty, or bridge aft, the stern passing the corner of the jetty. When a ship is approaching a berth and there is an obstacle ahead, such as a pier or another vessel, the captain may ask the distance to the obstacle. You can use a laser range finder to determine how many meters are left to the obstacle. You should report 70 meters to the pier or 50 meters to the vessel. But more often than not, if a vessel is approaching a berth between other vessels on the same pier, the captain may ask for clearance to the vessel ahead or the vessel astern. As the vessel approaches some distance from the berth, the vessel's forward clearance will be the distance from that vessel to the projection of your vessel's bow on the pier. In practice, therefore, the clearance is given in bollards. One bollard means the distance between two bollards on the pier. You check how many such distances are to go ahead and report. Bridge forward clearance five bollards. The pilot usually tells the captain how much distance there is between bollards. So the captain may inform you and ask you to report the distance in meters. But reporting in bollards is common practice. In addition, the captain may ask to report clearance to the stern lines of the vessel ahead, so your report may look as follows. Bridge forward, five bollards to the vessel, four bollards to the stern lines of the vessel ahead. Sometimes there are distance marks on the pier which can also be used to determine clearance. When the ship is berthing between two other vessels, captain may ask the officer at the aft station to report when the stern is clear of the vessel astern. When this occurs, the report should be made. Bridge aft, the stern is clear of the vessel astern, and then continuously report the clearance to the vessel astern. It may happen that due to high speed your vessel may pass a vessel moored ahead of you, and then your vessel will have to go aft. Then the captain may ask you how many meters the vessel's bow overlaps the vessel ahead. You should report. Bridge forward, the bow overlaps 20 meters. The distance you indicate is an estimate based on visible references such as the size of the containers of the vessel you are overlapping. When the bow of the vessel is clear, you report. Bridge forward, bow clear, and thereafter you should continuously report the clearance. It may happen that a vessel approaching a berth needs to swing around to get alongside the berth by the ship's other side. The captain may ask you to report the distance to the vessels and the berth at all times. You can use a range finder, bollards, or the approximate width of moored vessels to determine the distance. But the captain may also ask you, what will be the swinging clearance to the pier? This is the difficult task for the officer to predict the clearance as he doesn't know what the motion of the vessel is like. So your reports will be approximate, based on the current distance to the pier, the ship's length, and the expected pivot point. But they should be frequent so that the captain understands whether the distance is decreasing or increasing. So you should report. Bridge forward, the swinging clearance is 30 meters. More the ship is swinging, the swinging clearance becomes clearer to you if you see that it will be less than you previously reported report it again immediately. Bridge forward, the swinging clearance is 20 meters, decreasing. So, guys these are common reports you may make while berthing and unberthing. Also, the captain may ask you about distance, or even CPA with small boats, that cross the bow of the vessel and are hard to detect by radar. Well, that's a matter of practice and experience already. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, see you in the next videos.